Hello everybody and welcome to another episode of War Thunder. Um something a little different today. It's well it's sort of related to the tech trees that we've been told we're getting, um and patch one point three. Um basically I was like, sort of inspired to do this video because whenever you get uh, another patch obviously you usually get more aircraft. Um and I was actually reading that someone on another forum and they'd been trying to get the P18. They've got the P51, um, P63. We're just about to get the P51, and then the F82 was introduced. So uh, they got to P51 basically the same day the patch came out, but they then had to wait another day. Well, they had to unlock another aircraft to get to the P80. So um, I'm just sort of doing a video to sort of, um, you know, I've been looking through the question and answers that Lasso has been doing in the dev blog. Um, so I'm just doing a video to sort of find out where in the tech tree these um, aircraft are going to be. Um, which is, you know, I haven't been able to find out for all of them. I don't think all the aircraft have been announced um, 100%. Um, some of the answers are pretty vague as well. So, um, But this is basically to just, you know, help people avoid having aircraft put in front of them. You know, try and get to the, to try and get down the tree in a more efficient way to get to the aircraft they want. So I suppose without further ado, let's begin. Now the first aircraft on the list I've got here is the F2H. Um, it hasn't actually been, I've, well I think it's been confirmed it'll come before the F9F. Um, well, it, well, I don't know if it was confirmed, I think um, Lassar said it would make logical sense. Um, so I'm going to take, I'm going to assume he's right in that it comes before the F9F. So if you're trying to get to the F9Fs, be aware you may get an extra aircraft put in the way um, in the form of the F2H. Um, other American aircraft. We got. I know the Americans are getting the B fifty seven. I believe. I think it's the B fifty seven, the Canberra aircraft built in America. I assume it will go on the bomber line because the bomber line sort of has attackers and bombers. Um, you can see here the A twenty is an attacker. Um, it's in the bomber line. Um, other American aircraft. The F seven F. Now I think it's been. It hasn't been said where it will go in the lineup. Like where it will go. You know, in the lineups order, but um, I'm pretty sure they said it would go against jets. So probably after the FAF. Um, I don't know if the FAF actually goes against jets. I haven't actually um unlocked them yet, as you can see. Um, I've actually uh, I think the lowest jet um battle rating is Yak 15 at 5.3. Bearcats 5. Um, the Cannon one 6.3. So. I suppose it could go about the same place as the FAF, or probably I'd expect it to go just after, maybe. But again, it hasn't. Actually, they haven't actually said where it will go, so I can't really say where it will go exactly. Now, moving on to the Germans, the Germans are getting a few aircraft. Um, Halton two two nine. I believe that's definitely going in the ME four ten heavy fighter line. So uh, not too hard to get, I don't think. I mean, you got the BF one one zero. Uh, three lots of Dorniers and a few ME4 and well the ME410 and the ME4 and then you get to the ME410B6 assuming there's no other aircraft put on this line should just be a simple um, you know straight line well straight um, run to the Alton uh, the only prop thing that would be holding you back is um, whether you've got the right tiers unlocked because obviously I could after the ME410, it would be the Holton 229, but because I'm not tier 5, I wouldn't be able to research it yet. But, yeah, I don't know what other aircraft the Germans are getting. I'm not entirely sure if they are getting any other aircraft. Uh, they might be getting some bombers, but I haven't heard it mentioned, so... Yeah, I'll have to um, keep looking, but I don't think they're getting any other aircraft, so... I think that's the Germans done. So, we'll quickly move on to the um, Russian line. They're getting a few aircraft. Um, the R28. Now, surprisingly enough, this is actually going under the attacker line. So the R10s, which kind of surprised me. I thought it would come under the bomber line. Um, but no, apparently it's going to come under the attackers. So, you know, hopefully, if you've been grinding the bombers, hoping to get to the R10, I um, get to the R28. This will hopefully, you know, help you to quickly get down the attacker line. Well, switch to the attacker line. Um, you can see here I've only got the R10. 1946 to let left to unlocks. Um, so again, like the Halton, it would be a re relatively straight dart to the R28, but again, you have to have the right tiers unlocked. Um, there are a few other Russian aircraft, but I don't think it's been said where they're going. The I6, there's an I16, um, I can't remember if it's the Type 5, um, 
I'm assuming it would be before the i16. Um, I, I don't know too much about it at the moment. Um, the dev blog mentions it's less manoeuvrable but higher rate of climb and speed. So, um, well, it depends on what you what would be seen as um more advantageous um characteristic. Um, so about I'd say it'd go in the i16. Not maybe they'd group it together, sort of thing. Or maybe it'd be grouped together with the i16s in tier one rather than the tier two one. Um, yeah, not really sure where that would go, but it definitely wouldn't be any higher than tier two, I'd say. So you should probably, it should already, you know, have gone past it. Other aircraft the Russians are getting, um, the Yak 9, I believe that's the early version, so probably below the Yak 9U and the Yak 9P. Um, Again, you've probably, or it could be with the Yak 9T, I forgot about them ones. Um, you probably would have had it unlocked already, I suppose. Um, sort of struggling to remember what the Yak 9 was, because I did it in the Tech Tree Analysis series, but um, sort of forgotten what it was. But I can't see it being that high a tier. Although, just looking at the dev blog, um, I'd quickly pulled the video. It said it would be per appearing in its earliest version, so um, yeah, probably a lower tier aircraft. Um, the other aircraft on here is the Yak-1. Um, it wasn't actually confirmed as such. Um, they put a cockpit model up, and um, someone recent, um, someone asked Lasser, um, I'm not sure how long ago, um, if it would be appearing in the game in the Yak-1. Um, I believe he confirmed it would be. Um, now the Yak-1, uh, again, I'm sort of forgetting what I said in the series analysis. It only had something like one 20 mm and 12.7 mm machine gun. So I'm again, I'm guessing it'll be a lower tier aircraft. Um, once you get to tier 3, they all like have higher calibre machine guns. Um, or the Yak 9 US has 20mm cannon and uh, um, two machine guns. So I suppose it could go anywhere from low tier 4 to um, tier 1, I suppose. Um, tier 2, I suppose. Um, it's a 1940 aircraft, so I assume it would be lower rather than higher. But again, they haven't really said where it will go. Um, I've only found the post saying it was confirmed to be in the game. So, yeah, not sure where that would go exactly. Now quickly moving on to the British, um, Britain's getting a few aircraft, um, well they've confirmed that the fleet air arm will get its own line so not sure how that will work exactly but um, quickly, so some of the aircraft will go in the fleet air arm line. I, I think you'd probably have to start that line off from scratch because they've said they're going to keep the sea meteor in the meteor line for a while so that's going to stay where it is so um, and they've also said there's going to be at least two aircraft per tier. Um, aircraft going in the fleet air arm line, the Barracuda Mark II, the Seahawk, um, and the Sea Fury. Um, sea Meteor will eventually, but for the moment, or for, it says for some time it will stay in the Meteor line. Um, there's also the, um, there's a few other aircraft, but I'm not sure where they will exactly go, um, if they'd go in there. Um, the Tornet will go in the heavy fighter line. Um, well, there's only a few heavy fighters. There's bow fighters, mosquito, and the vampire. Um, the Hornet was actually produced after the mosquito. Um, they haven't actually said where it will go in the heavy fighter lines. Um, I don't know. If it, it would either be just before the mosquito or just after. I'm not entirely sure. I think it served longer than the mosquito. But again, but again, they haven't really confirmed where it would go. So I can't really comment too much on that. Um, also getting the the Hunter will be going on the Hawker line, so I assume that will be the Hurricane, Typhoon and Tempest line. So, um, um, again, people may have um, sort of abandoned this line a little bit once they started to grind towards the Jets. Um, if you want the Hunter though, you will probably have to start grinding up that line to get to it. And we should also be getting the Venom uh, FB4. I'm guessing it's going to go in the Fighter Bomber line. Probably just before or after the vampire. Oh, I think it was be after the vampire. I think it was literally, unless I'm mistaken, it flew literally days before the cutoff date, um, late 1953. Um, well, there's a bit of confusion. Some type, some give the um cutoff date as the end of the Korean War. Some give it as the end of 1953. But it flew it like December 1953. So not entirely sure. Oh, I assume it'll come after the vampire. But um, yeah, we have to check how I suppose um, if any other information comes up. Now I was about to go on to the Japanese um, line but I've just gone and checked the dev blog. Well I actually did go on to the Japanese, finished that, recorded it and then I went and checked the dev blog and another aircraft's been announced, the Lancaster B Mark 1. 
as well as updates for the Mark III. Um, the Mark III is going to get 14 1,000 pound bombs, I believe. Um, and the B Mark I, it carries 8,000 pounds worth of bombs or so. Um, it, about 3,440 were built. I believe it was the main variant, unless I'm mistaken. But it's going to have four turrets, uh, well, sorry, four turrets, three turrets, um, two machine guns on the nose and um, dorsal or top gunner, and four on the back. So, um, where would that go? I assume it would go before the Mark III, because it's probably, if it would have an, an in, you know, an inferior bomb load, uh, I assume it would go before the Mark III. I had heard somewhere it might be a premium. I don't know if that was from Lassar or somewhere else. Um, I'll have to, you know, I'll give an update if I find anything else about that. I, I've actually been compiling a list from all the Q&As that Lassar's been doing. Um, I'll have a look through there, see if he mentioned it. Um, but yeah, so the Lancaster B Mark One. I. I assume it will be coming in 1.3. I don't think they'd announce it otherwise. Um, but yeah, so that probably come before the Mark III. Um, the Mark One will probably. So that could put an extra barrier between the Canberra. Assuming it's in the bomber line. Um, I doubt it would go in the attacker line um, or the fighter bomber line. But yeah, so just look out for that, really. And last, last but not least, we got the Japanese. Um, they're getting quite, they're getting a few aircraft. Um, suppose, um, first of all, where have I written it down? The A6M3s, um, and, sorry, A6M5s, um, the A6M5 and the Otsu, and the M1K2Js are going to be grouped together. And the A6Ms are going to be moved to tier 3, um, with the M1K2Js um, staying in tier 4. Now, the J7W, I believe, is going in the fighter line here. Um, I believe they're grouping them together so you don't have a ridiculous amount of aircraft to go through. So, the J7W1 will be going in the fighter line. I believe the Kika, um, I think I pronounced it right, will also be going in the fighter line. Um, there's also a bit of um, a bit of a surprise with the R2Y2. Again, it's going in the attacker line the, after the B7A2. So it should be really easy to start grinding for them aircraft. There's only four aircraft in that line: um, the F1M2, um, the D3A1, the B5N2, and the B7A2. But again, um, the only problem will be there will be a bit of a jump from tier three to five. There may be some other aircraft being added in for the Japanese. I believe that was mentioned the Ki27, but um, I couldn't find it in the dev blog, so I could. Oh, I think it might have been in the dev blog, but literally. Just before the tech trees came out, uh, just unpaused the video, I went and had a little, little look. It did come out just before the tech tree um, tech trees were released, so that would probably come. Um, well, I assume that would be a tier one aircraft between the Ki-10 and the Ki-43. Um, speaking of the Ki-43, we'd be getting the Ki-43-1. I assume that would be grouped together the Ki-43-2. So again, shouldn't be causing any problems. I really don't think it would be causing that many problems. Um, now, like I said, this is just a looking at aircraft um, when they've announced the line, where it will be on the line. Um, like I said, not all the aircraft have actually been announced. Um, the Lancaster Mark, um, where is it? Lancaster Today, literally, yes, I was recording this. Um, I'm just going to have to edit that into the British t um, line um, discussion. Um, you know, so like I said, this, is a, this is, isn't um, representative of where they will all be or all the aircraft. I'm pretty sure there's a few that they haven't announced. Um, I think Japan might be getting a premium as well. I could be wrong. Um, but yeah, so I just wanted to do this video to sort of help people because, like I said, people on other forums, um, you know, been almost getting to the aircraft they wanted and then, be, you know, having another aircraft shoved in front of it. Um, so this is just to help people sort of avoid that. I, I sort of tried to do this as early as I can. Uh, it was a bit of a... Uh, difficult because I didn't want to do it too late because it wouldn't be able to help people but I didn't want to do it too early because it wouldn't have all the information and all the aircraft like I said the Lancaster was only added today if I'd done this a few hours earlier then that would have been missing from the video um, so yeah just a little something to help people um, I will try and add in annotations or in the description any other aircraft added um, so leave in the comments if you've got any aircraft that have been mentioned that I've missed I'm actually going through all the Q and A's that Lassar did, and sort of writing a big list of all the aircraft he's mentioned, what's been done to them. Um, it's taken me a long time. Um, I don't know if I do that in video form because obviously that's a thing that's done every two or three days. Those questions. Uh, 
so it would go out of date pretty quickly. Um, but yeah, thank you for watching. Um, leave feedback. I could always do with more feedback. Leave likes. Subscribe if you like the video. Like, like if you like the video. Subscribe if you like these sort of videos. And yeah, I'll see you next time. So thank you for watching.